Good day everyone. So this is another tutorial specific to Microsoft Forms po. Uh, this, this is the counterpart of Google Forms. So we have Microsoft Forms naman po in our Office 365 account in the Department of Education. So the first thing that you need to do is go to www.office.com and then log in with your Office 365 account credential given to you by the Department of Education through your Division IT officers. So, um, this is the Office 365 dashboard online. So, may mga laman na po yan kasi may mga marami na po yung laman sa loob. So, yan. Uh, dito po natin, unahin po natin i-focus lang po muna sa discussion na ito, si... Uh, Microsoft Forms. So, yan po. Again, yan po yung counterpart ng ating Google Forms. So, usually, ginagamit po yung Microsoft Forms uh, sa mga trainings, like for example, in in the creation of uh, registration. So, saan po ba yung forms pala makikita? Dito po sa may left side navigation bar. So, makikita po ninyo yan. Uh, sa gilid dito, scroll nyo lang po sa sway, sa baba. Uh, that's Forms. So, when you click Forms there, Sabi niya, maghanap siya ng password ulit. Oops, mali. Tama na dapat yan. Okay, so sa forms na yan, so these are my forms. Marami po yung mga forms dyan. So, medyo marami na rin pong mga responses. So, yung forms po ginagamit usually natin sa pagkikreate po uh, for... For trainings or for activities, pwede natin siya gamitin for registration forms para alam natin kung sino ba yung mga expected at ano ba yung profile na expected natin ng mga participants. Or pwede rin po natin siyang gamitin attendance form, online attendance, para at least meron tayong complete names at least ng mga uh, nag-attend during the event para naman po magamit natin yung Excel file niya na, na pwede nating ma-extract ma from the form itself. Para po makapag-create ng digital certificates. Okay? Next is, pwede rin po natin siyang gamitin as a mode of monitoring and evaluation or sa evaluation form natin para at least alam natin yung feedback po ng mga participants natin or audience related to the training or the learning and development activities that we have conducted. So, mga end of program evaluations, uh, ano pa ba? Uh, some things like that. Or sa mga teachers naman po natin, Pwede rin po natin siyang gawin na we can create forms para makapagawa tayo ng quiz, mga assignments. Kasi si forms siya kasi assignments, pwede na yung quiz siya assignments dito, pwede natin siyang itimed. Pwede rin natin siyang ilock na para kapag nag-fill up sila ng form, yung form lang talagang pwede nilang um, ma-fill up and until matapos yung oras. Otherwise, hindi sila pwedeng mag-minimize or mag-open ng ibang tabs or kahit pang ano. Tapos yung quiz natin at assignments, automatic din natin siyang pwedeng gawan ng key answers para pag-answer niya, for example, multiple choice or uh, dichotomous questions, meron na agad siyang score at the end of the quiz or the end of the assignments. So, pwede natin siyang ma-integrate din to sa Teams uh, if in case we wanted to make a uh, virtual class online. So, para siyang learning management system si Teams na pwede natin gamitin si Forms doon as a mode of assessment. So, yan. So, for this specific example in Forms, yung gagawin lang po muna natin is for uh, registration or attendance. So, example, gawin lang natin attendance lang po muna. So, like for example, sabi natin, ano ba yung event natin tomorrow? Ano ba yung event natin tomorrow? So, sabi natin, uh, attendance... Attendance to the Leadership uh, Webinar Series, Episode 6, oh, like that. So, Attendance to the Leadership uh, Webinar Series, Episode 6. So, I can just copy and copy there and then paste. So, sa Deputy Division of Latex, ang yung advice ko nga sa inyo is for you to create your own branding. So, sa Division of Latex kasi, uh, we have also specific branding requirements in terms of creating forms online. So, yan po. Pwede kang maglagay ng logo dyan or kung kaninong logo yan sa school ninyo or sa, sa inyong establishments. And, 
you can also put uh, themes may mga default naman na themes dyan so ano yung effect nya so pwede yung ganyan or you can choose like that like this one so may mga default na yan na open source na mga themes na kung possible naman yung gawin para hindi naman din kayo mahirapan you can just choose it like that or like this one you have your themes with you you can change the colors and like these things here but for the division of late we have to follow some some form requirements so ganun yung magiging form requirements niya and then i can hide this and just click go on with the form so number one na pwede nating gawin para sa attendance is for us to find out sa ang school ba yan. Kasi for example, kung gusto nating magkaroon ng report uh, regarding the number of participants per school, at least we can just generate it by putting filters in the school ID or school name. So it will require this. School ID tsaka school name, pa. sir, bakit parang redundant? Yeah, actually, it is for to check lang, counter check. Kasi minsan sa school ID, pagta-type nila, nagkakaroon ng pagkakamali yung pag-type ng school ID. Kaya para ma-verify at ma-cross-check, kailangan yung school name. Tapos, I can add subtitle. Sabihin natin, uh, type in the six-digit school ID of your school. Like that. And then, I will be able also to restrict uh, for example, school ID should be a number kasi bawal siyang mag-type ng hindi number dyan. So, that's one. Next is, possibly we can put school name. Isa sinabi ko kanina. School name tapos write in full and in proper form. For example, uh, minus wang elementary school. Like this one. Okay, so write in full and in proper form, like that. Okay, and no, then next is yung district. Para if you want also to generate reports per district, we can also filter it out. Kasi kung wala yan, ang hirap pong ma-filter ng reports uh, per school, per district, or per area. Kaya sabihin na lang natin, okay, okay. Pagbayan lang natin yan, district. And then for area, I can make uh, the choices in area na, like for example, area 1, then area 2A. Para at least if you wanted to generate reports per area rin, mas madali din po natin siyang makikita kung how many participants are there per area. Kasi may mga area focal persons tayo. And maybe we will be needing reports per area as well. Okay? So, dapat option na lang siya para hindi masyadong magkamali. As, kasi sabi namin, uh, as much as possible, kung kaya naman, hindi naman siya masyadong maraming choices, please use options na lang or choices. Para hindi, kasi kung district nga, kung hindi nga lang maraming districts natin in, uh, or namin in Leyte, uh, we could just put districts here in choices pero masyadong marami, uh, mahirap na po siyang mag-scroll pababa. So, yan. Uh, school ID, school name, district, area. Then, next should be, pwede na, kasi nandyan na yung school information. I can, I can have another section so, like this. I can click here. Tapos, sabihin natin, uh, ano ba? Another section. Tapos, dito is personal information. Personal information. So, yung personal information, uh, again, you can put another profile, insert can, you can insert image there, video or something in, the, in that section. Then I can add another one. So like, for example, the first name. Oh no, not the first name. Kasi merong ibang pilosopo din minsan. Na first name na yung nilalagay. Dalawa pala yung pangalan. Hindi naman daw sinabi na second name tsaka third name. So given name na lang. Then, okay. Delete ko lang puto muna. Like this. Given name. Tapos medyo po pareho lang naman yung, yung surname or middle name. So I can just copy the question. Click copy the question. So, nagka-copy na siya. Given name. Then, next is middle initial. Para lang to sa mga certificate natin. So, middle initial, isang letter lang yan. Dapat. Middle initial nga, di ba? And then, next is the surname or the last name. So, 
just click their last name okay and you can reorder like for example you want the last name to be the first so meron siyang arrow up so question up so up so yan so nandun na sa una si last name then given name and then the middle initial or you can just reorder it back down meron siyang arrow down and do not worry with these numbers here kasi automatic po siyang mag-adjust depende sa pang ilang question po ba dapat siya. Okay? So, given name, middle initial, last name. And then, lastly, I could ask for their uh, Office 365 account. So, yeah, I can ask for their Office 365 account. Then, this information should be confidential. Then, another is... Uh, I can add another section again. Add another section. Mm -hmm. Add another section. Tapos, or not really another section. I'll just delete this section here. Remove section. Just section. I can just add another question there. Narrating. Or pwede rin kasi sa section sana mamaya. Then Likert scale. Yung meron siyang, uh, ano yun? Meron siyang uh, one for very ganito Likert scale yung may rating tayo 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 something like that so ipapakita natin another example mamaya is yung sa Likert scale but for now rating sabihin na lang natin na uh, in total how would you how would you describe your experience in this uh, webinar in this specific episode or in this webinar ganyan na lang how do you like so five stars you can have stars or number but if i were you i will not be using five or mga add na rating something kasi may may safe value siya so i will choose four something like that tapos you can put label mahirap daw yung walang label so sabihin natin not satisfied si one. Not satisfied si one. Tapos, uh, very satisfied naman. Very, magandang may grammarly din siya. Oh, teka, mali. Satisfied. Yan. Tapos, very, disappointed. Meron bang very dissatisfied? May, may ganun bang word? Dissatisfied? Sabi niya walang ganun na word. Yan, dissatisfied. Very dissatisfied and very satisfied. So, four stars. And then, yan. Meron ka lang forms that you can share to. You can share to everyone else na, like for example, in this case, you can just share it. So, you can share only and my people in the organization can respond. So, ibig sabihin, lahat lang ng pareho mo na tenant, you can respond. Or, you can just, anyone with the link can respond. But for more security, dapat anyone, uh, only people in my organization can respond. So, yung anyone with the link can respond, well, kung hindi naman masyadong ganun ka seryoso yung information, you can have this. Pero para magkaroon talaga ng accountability and liability sa information na sinasubmit, I prefer yung only people in my organization can respond. Okay? So, pause natin muna to and then go on tayo sa next na specific example later on. So, yung gagawin mo lang po is to copy. For example, only people in my organization can respond. So, you're just going to copy the link. And then, post the link somewhere else na gusto pong ma-post yan. Or you can even generate QR code. Yan, no? So, you can generate QR code para sa, sa you can download it at i-post mo yan sa kung saan man para mas madali nilang mapuntahan yung form na ito. Or you can, like for example, kapag nagpalit ka na naman na dapat anyone with the link na lang can respond, you can also, again, generate the QR code for that. Okay? You can embed it or you, you can even email this to somebody else. Na ma, kung meron kang, ah, kasi ito attendance, so we will be uh, assuming or presuming that you have the email addresses of all your participants. So you can email it to them. Isang email lang yan. Okay? 
So, kapag may responses na rin yan, makikita mo siya dyan, and then you can even download it in Excel file. So, I hope this will help you. So, you will have another, we will have another video about Microsoft Forms uh, para naman po sa ibang topics specific to Microsoft Forms. Again, thank you so much and good day everyone.